we have this spring mass system and the pulley also has a moment of inertia of i so when we shift this mass a bit and release what will be the frequency of oscillations so let's disturb this block a little bit and instead of find, find the restoring force or restoring torque let's do it by the by balancing the energy at extreme is equal to energy at mean so let's uh, <laughs> let's see our assumptions first so extension and spring and mean position so when the block was at equilibrium let's say the extension was x0 so we can say mg is equal to kx0 now let's pull the block further by distance a and release it so when it crosses this equilibrium position let's say its velocity is v0 now uh, when you pull this down by distance a the extension in the spring becomes x0 plus a and when it's crossing the mean position then its extension is simply x0 and mg is equal to kx0 so let's write this equation e energy at extreme is equal to energy at mean so both are total energies so energy at extreme will be minus mga so let's take this as a reference so with respect to this point the gravitational potential energy will be minus mga extension is x0 plus a so plus half k x0 plus a whole square now when it crosses the mean position the gravitational energy is zero kinetic energy of this block will be half mv0 square kinetic energy of roller will be half i omega square omega is v0 by r and potential energy of the spring will be half k x0 square now let's open this this will be of this form and you can see since mg is equal to kx0 these two terms will get cancelled these two terms will also get cancelled and you will get v0 as a function of a so if we can compare this with v0 is equal to omega a which relates amplitude with maximum with the velocity of the particle at mean so that's what is this relation this relates velocity at mean with the amplitude because we moved it by a so this directly gives omega is root of k upon m plus i by r square.